Tampa Ravens linebacker O.J. Brigant spent the day in Annapolis. He testified in opposition of a bill that would legally allow the terminally ill to take their own lives. Brigant has ALS and he speaks through a computer. 11 News reporter David Collins was at the hearing. He joined us live from the State House tonight with more. David. Well, Stan, O.J. Bergans made a powerful presentation. He told the committee he felt compelled to testify because he has personal experience with the issue. O.J. Bergans. Former Ravens football star linebacker O.J. Bergans opposes legislation, giving the terminally ill with six months to live the right to end their lives on their own terms. He was able to testify with the help of a computer. At the open days, word has been challenging, of course. However, I did not create my life, so I have no right to negate my life. Brigance played in the Ravens' first Super Bowl win back in 2000. He joined the Ravens' front office years before being diagnosed with ALS in 2007. With the use of no hands, I was able to write a book two years ago. I can't tell you of the numerous people who have been encouraged through their own personal struggle. Because I decided to face my struggle against ALS. 80 people signed up to testify for and against the Death with Dignity bill. A qualified patient would have to be a terminally ill adult with six months to live, declared competent, a Maryland resident, and self administer the prescription overdose. The patient would have to ask the doctor twice, then a third time in writing, witnessed by two others. I'm not aware of anybody being told, oh, you have six months to live, and they run out and get the medicine and take it. Um, it, it really is getting down to that end time. The Senate committee asked, is pain really the indicator here? What are the social, moral implications? Does this bill encourage people to take their own lives? To me, this issue is about our humanity. It's also about freedom. It's about honoring wishes. It's about options. I don't know how many days I have left to live, but each and everyone has a purpose. The thought that there would be a legal avenue for an individual to take his or her own life in a moment of despair robbing family, friends, and society of their presence and contribution to society deeply saddens me. Governor Hogan told reporters he's torn and is currently taking a serious look at the issue. He sees both sides but has not reached a decision. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.